What's up guys, Cool Chain Computers here, back again with another video. And today, I decided to check out some of your guys' setups. So, the three setups that were submitted today were all submitted by my friends. I'll have their channels linked in the description below, so be sure to go check them out and subscribe. And I'll shout them out individually who set up who. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first setup we're going to take a look at today is Spyro's setup. Spyro has been a friend of mine for a little while now. And yeah, so this is his first part of his setup. This is his PC setup. So as you can see here, we have uh, the dual monitor setup with the vertical monitor. I would, he is a Twitch streamer. Um, so he does so I'd pr assume that's used for chat and it looks like he uses YouTube music there And there's his gameplay Monitor then you got your peripherals. There's looks like Xbox controller and I, I think that looks like a Google home mini there headset hanger pretty typical it Looks like a blue snowball up there and then the PC on the ground uh, Yeah one thing I would recommend already is I can see your cable management is not the best. So I would recommend, and I can see your PC is also on the floor. So the first thing I'd recommend is getting like a two foot uh, nightstand to put your PC on. So it's up off the ground. And I'd also recommend some cable raceways to hide the cables up against the desk. So they're not on the ground all like that. But the spec sheet I do have at the bottom here. Um, He's rocking a Ryzen 5 3600, uh, 6 cores, 12 threads, 7, eight, seven nanometer, no problem there whatsoever. And he has an R, uh, a Radeon RX 590 as his GPU with 32 gigs of system memory. Not a bad spec sheet. I would recommend upgrading that GPU though because the RX 590 holds up pretty well in 1080p for 1080p gaming. But I mean, I think it's time to upgrade grade if that's still your main GPU and as you can see the case down there <coughs> excuse me as you can see the case down here looks like a cooler master case because right there you can kind of see the cool master logo does I'm not sure which one exactly it is but looks like a cool this looks like one of their nicer ones though with actual airflow so that's nice yeah it looks like just a basic chair I like the red and black color scheme I would change the RGB of your keyboard if that's even RGB if you can't change it, I change it to red to match your color scheme, and it looks like white. It kind of looks bluish, but it might be the color of your walls. So, but yeah, if it's white LED strip there, no problem at all. Overall, I like the color scheme. So, but he does have a console setup. We look over here. I actually really like it. I don't have a whole lot of complaints. The cable management looks awesome. Looks like we got a Wii, Xbox One S, Xbox 360, a Switch. All it looks like uh, Spyro here is pretty into uh, uh, some rock and roll games. Yeah, I like it. I like it's very clean. One thing I would upgrade if you're making an upgrade next after the GPU is this TV. TV starting to look a little dated, especially with those bezels. So if you can, I'd upgrade the TV after you upgrade your GPU. But other than that, no complaints. So next setup is my friend Doggin Express's setup. And overall, I'd say it's pretty nice. I mean, he's got a great color scheme going with the blue and yellow with red accents. He stayed pretty true to the color scheme there. I mean, Cable management looks great. Um, I would say if possible, drill holes in your desk to route the keyboard and mouse wires. Maybe look a little bit cleaner, but overall, not too bad. I mean, no complaints for the setup. And finally, the f third and final setup for today is my friend Lawboy's setup. Now this one, I think, has a lot of potential. So, this is an MSI pre-built down here. There is the... Uh, Core i7-9700 with an RTX 2060 Super, which I think there could be a little bit of a better pairing, but you know what? Not judging. It's probably perfectly fine for what Lawboy does. Uh, yeah, so it looks like we have all MSI peripherals, keyboard, mouse, headset, looks like a Switch Pro controller, Switch, empty water bottle. So, first thing, 
I'd recommend that you can do in about two seconds. I feel like it'd be a lot easier if you moved your monitor to the middle and just kind of straightened everything up. That way you're looking at it level instead of kind of at the side. I think it'd be a little bit more comfortable, especially because you don't have a swivel chair. So yeah. also for like $3, you can get a headphone hanger you can mount to the side of your desk here. That way your uh, headphones here are out of the way and you don't have to worry about them there. Other than that, I think if you're stuck with the desk and chair, I say you have a lot of black here. I say you roll with the white, maybe get a new case, get a white case, um, white mount, just kind of roll with the white and get go crazy with a can of spray paint. Just make sure you look up some videos on how to do it so you don't ruin your electronics. Maybe a skin for your switch. I think if you're stuck with the white, I say just roll with it. Uh, don't turn that into a race thing. But yeah, other than that, I think the setup has a lot of potential. I think if you just really take your time, start saving up some money, you could really turn this into a great gaming setup because you've already got some personality. I mean, you got some uh, swimming medals up there, and you've got some posters. Uh, you, the setup's got character to it. It's not some lifeless setup. Uh, it's got character to it, and I think you could really go a long way. But the first thing I do, Please get that computer off of the carpet. You are suffocating the poor thing. So please get it off the carpet. Like what I res recommended a Spyro a few min or a few minutes ago. Get like a two foot nightstand to just kind of elevate the PC up. It's gonna be so much better for not only you, but the PC as well. Just remember, PC lives matter too. And with that, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to go vote in the iCard right up there. Who should win the coveted PC judging trophy? I don't know. I'm still working on a name. If you have any name suggestions, leave a comment down below what I should call the series. The winner of this episode will win a very nice plaque that I will send to them. So be sure to do like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow me on Twitter. Twitter's right down there. Because I will be posting when I'm doing a next episode of these. So you can submit your subs. And you can also win a plaque. So thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.